Vittorio De Sica's Bicycle Thieves, released in 1948, tells the story of a man who has his new bicycle stolen on his first day at his new job. While this seems like nothing to write home about, this film has major significance in displaying the various characteristics of European art cinema, specifically those of Italian neorealism. To understand how Bicycle Thieves reflects art cinema, however, we must understand the features of European art cinema as a whole. The meaning of art cinema, as described by Nadalius, is difficult to pin down, and any working definition needs to be as flexible as the diverse examples that come under its umbrella. This is shown in the various styles and meanings that European art cinema embodies in different periods and countries of origin. However, it becomes easier to define art cinema when it is defined against the attributes of mainstream and Hollywood cinema, which is described by Nadalius to have favoured linearity and cause and effect logic. In direct contrast to this, European art cinema is characterised by a looser narrative form, which often features narrative gaps and dead time when the story halts and little progression is made within the narrative. This story is said to have not enough material even for a news item. This story has no real significance and is nothing more than a story you might mention quickly at the dinner table one evening without another thought. But it's this real and raw narrative that defined Bicycle Thieves and perfectly reflects the characteristics of European art cinema, especially that of Italian neorealism, which was filmed against the backdrop of World War II. The very loose conclusion where the problem and driving force of the film are never really resolved is in line with the way that art films define themselves against the Hollywood style of storytelling. This is seen with the disappointing conclusion where the bike is never found and the father makes a criminal of himself. The story also contains lots of dead time when nothing or very little happens in a scene to push the story forwards, which is almost prohibited in Hollywood narratives. One example of dead time is the scene in which the father and son sit down to have dinner together and Bruno continuously compares himself to a rich girl in the restaurant. This may set the tone thematically and emotionally between the father and son, but the sequence of Bruno comparing himself to the girl adds nothing narrative-wise to the story and allows the audience to linger in the atmosphere and have a break from the search for the man's bicycle. The scene also creates greater impact when the man's hunger to find his bicycle becomes stronger following this scene. This dead time, while seemingly meaningless, actually further pushes the idea of the realism in the films. The writer of Bicycle Thieves, Cesar Zavattini, knew that this way of portraying the characters and focusing not just on them, but on their environments, was not insignificant, but deeply impactful on the audience. You see, in Zavattini's conception, the honest portrayal of ordinary life would be sufficient to create a bond between audience and film, such that the protagonist would display his or her inherent humanity and the audience would grasp the nature of the circumstances. This idea is shown masterfully in Bicycle Thieves as an audience can be moved and impacted by this glorified short story as it demonstrates the innate sense of humanity in the characters and we understand the things they are experiencing in a real and raw way. Nadalius explains that art cinema directors prioritise style and cinematic image over narrative exposition, which is evident in De Sica's extensive unique stylistic edelments that enhance the idea of Italian neorealism in his films. This film contains actors with no acting experience and is filmed entirely on no location. The main three characters include a factory worker, a journalist and a child found wandering the street. These stylistic choices increase the realism and sense of humanity in the film as the actors are interacting genuinely with their real environment and showing their natural and raw reactions to events and situations within the scene. This also shows the very documentary and episodic narrative style that European art cinema is often characterised by. It immerses the viewer into a world that seems so real that it is almost as if we are watching a documentary of real events which is prominent in various periods of art cinema. Overall, this film expertly immerses the viewer into a real and raw world where you are faced with a seemingly insignificant but realistic story that truly makes an impact and is insightful into humanity. It embodies many features of art cinema in its direct diversion from the narrative form of Hollywood cinema with a looser conclusion and inclusion of a more simple story and dead time. It also demonstrates the form of European art cinema in the stylistic choices which evoke the sense that the film is almost a documentary through the use of realistic stories, real people instead of trained actors and filming on location to evoke the impactful sense of humanity that Zavantini knew would create an effective bond with the audience.